Here we go. The wave of the future. I Mr. Awesome, Mike Rossa. Quite the exciting young man to watch in his second year here in the RWA. When did you guys start to get a little bit more closer and start bonding a little bit more? Um, that was probably when I had moved back from Boston uh, to North Providence and started to have more of, a, of an influence here in New England and working with the guys at the school. I saw Mikey do other things and started of realizing that he kind of really wanted to do this and I started uh, putting more of my time and in investing in him. What do you think are some of the hardest or biggest hurdles he's had to overcome? Injuries. I am. I think that every single time he starts getting momentum and starts picking up speed in, in wrestling, which is the most difficult thing to do, is to ride momentum. Uh, if it's not one concussion, it was another. I'm losing his finger. Um, I feel like morale and motivation. They're not physical injuries, but I think they're mental injuries. I get to see a side of him his family doesn't get to see. Um, our lives are very similar, uh, but very different. Um, but I think that's what makes our relationship even more special. Uh, we come from a very similar background athletics wise. We played the same sports, we did the same things. We suffered some of the very same injuries. Uh, so I know what it's like to deal with concussions and how mentally um, one little problem can send you in a different direction. You are de uh, developing injuries and you're trying to recover from the mental blocks that people have put on you. Concussion after concussion after concussion and in those situations, you don't really recover the same way as I did, where I was able to find the positive in that. And I've been trying to bestow that to Michael, but it's very, very hard to break that path. And I think that he just has succumbed to the pressure inside of his own brain. His, he's such, such a creative mind, and it just kind of, there's no blockage anymore, man. Like it just, he can just cut loose. And at first it was just for wrestling, and it was just, this new character idea, this new wardrobe change, this new interpretation of how he's gonna do his hair, his hair, and it was just for wrestling. Now it's every day. Now it's he's just thinking about that 24 seven. He's not allowing himself to, I, I, I guess in a way recover to be normal again. It's just, he's just become a lunatic. And there's no, there's no, there's no bouncing back anymore. He's definitely not what he, uh, what he used to be. I think it's even further than 100% chain. There's no restrictions for him. He doesn't have to listen, so he doesn't want to listen. And now he's so opposite of everything else that to us it seems abnormal and it seems weird and it seems just freakish and ghoulish and, and just crazy. But to him, that's, that's normality because he's such a creative person and he's so artistic and he's so determined to be his own person and stand out, I think that the concussions have really helped him in that process, but hurt him, and, and I feel like uh, he's just running through the woods, and he's just lost, and I don't think he wants to come back. Well, that leads me to my next question. Um, you know, a lot of people want to hear from him. His family's worried. I just talked to yeah. his parents. Um, where can I find Mike? <laughs> you don't want to find Mike. Well, there's you know a lot of people that are really concerned about him, and I've kind of taken this project on, so I think it might be best if I find Mike and talk to him and figure out, you know, hear it straight from his own mouth, like what's going on with him in his head. He's got like goosebumps from my ass. I mean, you're serious, aren't you? Oh, I'm, I'm serious, man. You know, like, I'm trying to capture all these great stories, and I really think there's something there with Mike. I think there definitely is something there, but I think there's more of nothing there. But it's just us. To go see him? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll take you there. I'm not going in. I'm not going to well, that, That's cool. Just show me where he's at. My thing I'll... with Michael is when he wants to talk to me and see me, he comes to me. I don't go looking for him. He does his own thing. I'll, I'll show you where he is, man, but you, that, it's all you. All right. Tomorrow? July, yeah, I'll tomorrow, man. All right, cool. My dear, I'll give you 60 seconds to disappear. And if you don't get out of here, Oh,
Sometimes I've been trying to find out if an angel bends or breaks. Oh, shadows like 